Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a real quick look at a brand new 2023 Vibe 34BH travel trailer. This is a triple slide out bunkhouse travel trailer. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of the RV, kind of show you what it's all about. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are up inside the brand new 2023 Vibe 34BH travel trailer here. Uh, as you see it on the floor plan that was up, this is a triple slide uh, rear bunk house front bedroom RV. We're going to start back here in the back section and we'll kind of work our way forward here. So back here we have the kids room. So we have a bunk over top, electric outlet up here, window that opens. There is TV hookups and electric outlet up there on the ceiling as well. This one was ordered with the second AC and 50 amp service. So you do have a drop in AC right here in this room. Does have a little flip out ladder that the kid can use to get up there. And then you have storage here as well. Now on the other side over here, we have our slide area. And this has a fold down bunk. And then you have a little cube bed down here as well. So during the day, they can use it to sit on and then flip it out. And you could sleep a couple kids down here at the bottom. The little bunk area here just has a little latch to basically remove and drop this down. And you can see there is a window there as well. It's an electric outlet down there. But a pretty good size room for the kids. Back out here to our living room kitchen area here. So we have a traditional booth dinette here. This will fold down and make into a bed as well. And there's storage underneath each side as well. You have very large windows overlooking the backside area of the RV. And they have pulled down roller shades on them as well. The sofa over here is a theater seat, Thomas Paine theater seat. So this will kick back and recline for you. And you also have some little LED lit up cup holders and little lights down below. You have a large 50 inch Conexus TV, which also has a FM radio built into it as well. Some storage down below that, electric box with the breakers and fuses next to the 30 inch Furion fireplace. Over here you have what's referred to as a tri-fold sofa. So this will flip out and make into a bed as well, where you could again sleep a couple extra guests here. Big window behind that overlooking the campsite area of the RV does open. Currently using the Furion microwave, Furion hood range light and fan, Furion oven, which has a three burner stove top, glass front, light up knobs, light inside the oven, a large pull out drawer down below as well. And then you also have the 10.7 cubic foot Furion 12 volt refrigerator. There is storage below your island area here as well. Large undermount sink, high rise spring sprayer faucet. In here we do have a little pantry area, a motion light up there as well. And there's an inspection panel there too. But just kind of looking up at the ceiling area here, you have some hang down pendant lights skylight above your island area here ducted ac through the rv as well from your main coleman ac that's up here controls for your main ac and your propane furnace some light switches slide buttons awning button and some more light switches 12 volt tank heater so if you do cold weather camping that's nice uh, you have the uh, gas water heater and the water pump button, the electric switch for the water heaters outside on the water heater, 
and your monitor panels for your fresh black gray and galley waters. Over here we have our bathroom area here. So just kind of starting from the bottom up here we have a porcelain foot flush toilet. There is a step-in shower. There is a little vent fan up here and a skylight above the shower. The shower has that pull across like vinyl door. Some storage, mirror, and some more storage below. Into the bedroom area right here, we have a overhead cabinet area with a closet on the left. Little nightstand on the right. You have electric outlet, USB charger ports on each side, and there's a little area back there as well. Window over here does open. And then here we have another little closet area. It's another motion light. Uh, this little uh, hanging thing here, little cubbies. It's pretty good size. Another inspection panel down there. There's also electric outlet down here on this side as well. Then the bed does raise up, so there is storage underneath the bed. And you also have quite a bit of room to maneuver around at the foot of the bed. Now looking at the wall here, there is electric outlet and TV cable outlet there as well. Window over there also opens. So a lot of sleeping capacity here and a pretty good amount of livable space as well. All right, we're going to head outside. I want to show you around the outside real quick, and then we're going to come back in and close this thing up. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we're back on the outside of the brand new 2023 Vibe 34 BH model here. Starting out on the door side here, we have a white fiberglass exterior, aluminum studded foam block insulated sidewalls. You have tented windows, power awning, LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV, manual override in the front arm head in case of an electronic failure, and you have adjustable arms for tilting. Across the front side here, you have a pretty large pass-through storage compartment area here. There is a motion light in here as well. You can see some of that aluminum tube framing on the construction there. You have power front and rear jacks. The fresh water tank drain is also located right down there. It does have an enclosed underbelly as well. You have the heavier duty more ride entrance step here. This is rated for 500 pounds, comes down, touches the ground, adjustable feet, so it doesn't shake and rock and roll. The RV is bad when the kids are running in and out. You have large folding entry handle there. Traditional RV entry door and screen door, and you do have a window in there, you see. Stove exhaust vent up there. Looking down here at our axles, we have a wide stance axle system, dual axles, drum brakes, easy loop hubs, aluminum wheels. The wide stance is supposed to help it go down the road straighter. It's not supposed to be as squirrely as the closer together axles. That's the reason for the wide stance. On the back side here, there is a cable outlet and an electric outlet right here. You also have your furnace exhaust out here. There's a cold water spray point down here, uh, basically allowing you to hook up a hose and have cold water back here. Two mini fridges, 32 inch TV also back here. Motion light in there and a little bit of storage. And then you also have two outdoor speakers on this side as well. Now looking just down below here, there is the rear stabilizer jacks, again power jacks, and a gas line hookup so you could plug in a portable grill if you wanted to. Traditional 4 inch squared tube bumper, a lot of people store their dump hose in there. Obviously you can see the spare tire mount and cover is also on the back there. The black rectangle in the top left there is prepping for the 
uh, Lippert Stow and Go ladder. It's a portable telescoping ladder you can use to get up and down on your roof. You can buy that aftermarket. Um, there's also prepping in the top center there for a Furion observation camera, which allows you to see what's going on behind you when you're driving down the road or backing into a campsite. Definitely a really nice safety feature to consider adding. Just in between these slides right down here is the back galley tank dump right here. So you will have two separate dumps back here. The second dump is gonna be just up in front of your axles here for your gray and black area right here. You have hot and cold outside utility shower here, black tank flush, city water inlet, six gallon gas electric water heater, and your detachable power cord here. Now this one has two ACs on it. You can kind of see them up there a little bit and that requires 50 amp electric service so that it'll work both ACs properly. Gravity fill fresh water tank fills right here and again the drain on the lower other side over there. The baggage doors are held up by magnetic clips. And then here you have a three-quarter fiberglass front cap, LED light strip built in. You have a lower metal diamond plate, two 20-pound propane tanks with the auto changeover regulator, power tongue jack with built-in light manual override, two and five sixteenths hitch ball, heavy-duty safety chains, breakaway cable. There is also a battery disconnect right down there. There's room for one or two batteries, depending on the size of the battery you go with. It comes with zero batteries from the RV maker. However, if you purchase from Couch's RV Nation, it does come with at least one. The unit also has, again, a solar panel on the roof to help keep that battery charged up. All right, we're gonna head back inside. I wanna close this thing up for you real quick. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are back up inside the brand new 2023 Vibe 34BH here. And I just want to kind of close this up for you so you can see what it looks like closed. Now, the back bedroom area, I can't really close that and open the door at the same time. The slide out blocks the door completely. Um, so when this is closed, you're not really getting back here. But it is very important before you close it up, make sure your floor is clean, make sure your you know doors and your ladders all put away everything is out of the way very very important because the slide will run something over if you're not careful and tear it up but basically when that slides closed you're not really climbing back there but i can kind of show you a little easier this section up here so same thing make sure your doors and the floors clean and everything like that very very important and when you are ready to bring it in just hit the button. The slide's gonna pretty much come straight in and go straight out. Now when this comes in, it's gonna get real close to your island area here. So it's very, very important to make sure again, your doors and drawers are all closed up and your floor is clean. Also, while we're waiting on these rooms to come in here, be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. Will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV if you're interested. So you can see here, nice and tight when that thing is closed up right there. Gotta make sure, you know, your cabinets here fastened back, your TVs latched into place, all that type of stuff. And then back to the other slide button here. Hit the button, this thing's gonna come straight in. So with this closed, I can still squeeze in here. 
I could come back here. I could, you know, wash my hands if I needed to. Can't really do a whole lot when it comes to the refrigerator or your cabinets or anything. You would pretty much have to bump out the room to, you know, load it with groceries or, you know, any of that type of stuff. But I do still have full access to the bathroom and full access to the master bedroom, even with the slides closed. So if you are stopping in a rest area or a parking lot somewhere or something, you could still run in here and basically grab something out of your bedroom or you know use the bathroom in here if you needed to. But it's pretty quick and easy just to bump the room out and get to your pantry or your fridge if you need to. Does not take real long to do this stuff. These are 12 volt slides. So again, as long as you have a nice charged up battery, you should be able to bump these things in and out pretty quickly. All right, folks, thanks for taking the time to watch my RV videos. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you know anybody that's interested, please be sure to share the videos. Thanks again.